with not being able to tour and adjusting like what what would you say you actually learned from this past year because you've been very active online it's much like a lot of us especially people who promote themselves or create things you can look back at like the way you started out doing it and like where you're at now like making videos on your youtube channel or things like that like the live streams that you've been doing like what have you learned from all that I learned, yeah, that's a great question. I, I learned, <laughs> I learned that it's very important to have your digital assets monetized and <laughs> in creating reco- recurring uh, value mm-hmm. for like that, that, like pay dividends. And like I, I had been performing and planning this tour, but that was my first tour after 14 years of creating these, these, you know, some intellectual property that is, that is collecting value for me mm-hmm. and allowing me to, to, to pay my cheap rent here, you know, like, and that's what allows me to make, become the full-time musician. I think that was one of the thing one of the, one of the things I learned this year was how important that is for everyone to have that safety net of at least having some digital assets that, I mean, a musicians, you have them, they have them. It's, it's just, I, I, I definitely, I had a greater realization of that. I was able to, understand a lot more about how licensing works and about publishing and diving more into the business of music really this last year and to prepare again for when I have to go back out and really approach it and attack it. And, uh, but I mean, I learned, I learned a lot of, uh, things with this next, this last album. I mean, just like the, it's, uh, like I learned a lot more about gain staging like I uh, experienced it, which is this process in engineering where hmm. each each source of the, or like essentially each thing that can create sound and through, you know, you got one thing with a cable that's of audio going to another thing, the cable of audio that goes to another thing. They all have volume knobs, mm-hmm. right? So everything, or gain knobs, whatever, you, every, each stage, like you can, you can, it, and I'm not an I'm not an electrical engineer. I I I was more into software, so like right. I I can't really explain the how it, it essentially works from a, at a physical level. Um, I I had a podcast you know, my, when you see it because you've seen it. <laughs> you can just hear like, it. You I can hear it. it. Yeah, I can hear it. That's the that's the main thing. You can hear it and feel it. And and um, once you understand what it is, essentially, you don't, when you have super loud uh, at the very end, like the last stage. If that's the thing that's turned all the way up and you're just like, why is it so quiet? And you keep turning it up. Mm-hmm. You might actually just be turning up noise, essentially. Like you're, because these yeah. other ones, these other ones are really quiet and all that's coming through is basically noise with a little bit of volume. And so when you turn up the last one all the way, you know, it, and, and that was something I just realized because I was, <clears throat> because I was doing the live streaming, because I had two separate computers with two separate interfaces. Ah, okay. And, I was so going to say, had, where, where was the chaining that you were doing? <laughs> okay. That it makes wasn't sense. even that much. It was just one extra thing for yeah. my normal stuff, but that made a huge difference because it's like, well, I had, it wasn't just one extra thing. It was actually two because I had a little mixer going into that interface and then that interface went into another interface. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and if those are the wrong, if one's at 44.1 and kilohertz and the other one's at 48 kilohertz, it's also going to screw it up. So you have to like match the bit rates. I think those are bit rates. I don't remember what that's called, but the, yeah. but um, so, so that, I mean, that's a technical thing I learned. I mean, I learned a lot about, uh, I did a lot of reading in uh, into Carl Jung. I like, and, and, um, so I was I really started to get activated in the knowledge of archetypal psychology, hmm. and I guess they call it depth psychology. Okay, which is essentially just all based on Jung's work, but um, and that that was one of the most interesting things that I learned this last year, just diving into all that. Just learning Have you about been the, wanting to learn about psychology or what, like why? I mean, that's I, all of a sudden I, yeah. we're talking. I'm like psychology. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, this is what I, this is the, this is it, it's you know it's some of its research for songs, right? You know, like okay, it, all right. 